Hello, in this video I'm going to do a demonstration of what causes different phases of the moon as well as eclipses. Uh, in this video, uh, there are three different bodies that are going to be shown in the video. The first is off to the left hand side, which is a lamp, which is going to represent the sun. Uh, the second is the blue ball, pulled up by the ring stand, uh, that represents the moon. Uh, the third object is the globe that represents the earth. Uh, one thing I want to mention right off the bat is that these uh, different bodies are not shown, of course, with relative sizes or distances. Uh, to give you an idea of scale, uh, the uh, globe representing the Earth, if this were the actual size of the Earth, uh, the Sun would have to be approximately two miles away to show the relative distances. Uh, first, what causes different phases of the Moon? Involves light reflecting off of the Moon. So there's always going to be one side of the moon, as you can see uh, approximately here over, that light is reflecting off of the moon. Just as you can see, there is half of the globe approximately here and over where light is reflecting off of the earth. And so there is a lit side of the moon and earth, and then there is a non-lit side. Uh, and again, uh, these bodies do not produce light of their own. Uh, they just have light uh, from the sun that bounces off them. Uh, so you can see now that I've moved the camera a little bit that the uh, other side of the moon, the right hand side of the moon uh, in this frame is not lit because again light is not reflecting uh, from the sun off the moon. Uh, what you can see in this orientation would be a new moon. Uh, so a new moon is when from Earth's perspective the entire moon is not lit. Uh, so again if you were standing here on Earth uh, what you would just see is the entire non-lit portion of the moon. Again, half of the moon is lit, half of the moon is not lit. Uh, we're just looking at the uh, side where light is not reflecting off of. On the other end of the spectrum, if I was to take the moon and put it on the opposite side of the Earth, uh, if the sequence is uh, sun, Earth, and then moon, which is not in the frame, but it will be, uh, that would represent a full moon. And so a full moon is when the entire moon seems to be lit from Earth's perspective. Uh, again, because the uh, sunlight is bouncing off of the moon and that's the side that is being seen from the Earth. Uh, you could get other circumstances that uh, would be responsible for uh, waxing and waning uh, gibbous and crescent moons. Uh, but this last illustration that I'm gonna show right now uh, is what you would see with a quarter moon. And so if in a quarter moon, you would have the sun, the earth, and the moon uh, forming sort of a right triangle. And what you'd see from the earth's perspective is exactly what you'd see uh, from our perspective right here, that half of the moon uh, is lit. That's the half that we're seeing. Uh, eclipses are a little bit different deal. So there is not an eclipse every new moon or full moon. Uh, and the reason for that is, is the moon, earth, uh, and sun are not always on the same plane. And so what you can see in our depiction right now is that there is on the earth uh, a shadow caused by the moon. And so when you have the sun, uh, moon, and earth that are all on the same plane and the moon's between uh, the Earth and the Sun. Uh, this is a solar eclipse. The reason this is a solar eclipse is from the Earth's perspective uh, in North America or in Mexico right here. Uh, what you would see is the Sun seems to disappear uh, behind the Moon. And so solar referring to Sun, uh, eclipse it's disappear. Uh, solar eclipses they happen uh, at least a couple times a year but not everywhere on Earth. As you can see when the uh, globe is rotating here that you'd only hit uh, or have complete darkness in certain areas of the world. Uh, there are different types of eclipses, total, uh, partial, solar eclipses, but again a solar eclipse the key thing is that you have the sun, moon, and earth. Uh, the moon is in the middle and uh, from earth's perspective uh, the sunlight uh, is being blocked from the sun and so the moon is casting a shadow on the earth. Uh, what can happen other times a year, so uh, you're always going to have a solar eclipse during a new moon, uh, but what can happen other times of the year if there's not a solar eclipse is you can just see that 
uh, the sun, uh, earth, and moon are not all on the same plane. What you can see in this circumstance uh, is it would still be a new moon. The entire moon is dark from Earth's perspective, uh, but they're not all in one flat line like you'd see in pictures. Uh, with a lunar eclipse, uh, lunar referring to the moon, uh, what occurs is the uh, moon seems to disappear. Since you have the sequence here, uh, that is, back this up, uh, sun, earth, and moon. Uh, the earth is blocking light from the sun on the moon. Uh, this is also referred to as a blood moon because the moon can appear uh, red or darker in color. Uh, but again, uh, the sequence is uh, sun, earth, moon, and the earth is casting its shadow on the moon. So this is always going to happen in a full moon uh, because if they were not in the same plane, what you would always see is that the uh, entire moon would be lit from the Earth's perspective. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video on eclipses and phases of the moon. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to stop uh, by during homework help times uh, or during period 1A. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.